the impact we hope to make on people's life is really to tell people if screening for myeloma and its precursor is beneficial. We have seen in clinical studies performed on other cancers like breast cancer, like cervical cancer and other cancers. They did similar studies like this before and uh, proved that you should screen for breast cancer, cervical cancer and other cancers. This has not been done in MCUS or myeloma. So this is what we're doing. We are evaluating if we should screen for MCUS or not. Let's go! Multiple myeloma is a cancer of the bone marrow. Um, it originates in the plasma cells. These are the antibody secreting cells of the body. So the, when this, these cells turn into cancer, they can give various uh, signs and symptoms. For example, a blood deficiency, kidney failure, and it can also uh, uh, give uh, bone lesions and fractures. The interesting thing about myeloma is it is, it is always um, preceded by a precursor. So the most uh, uh, precursor is MGUS, or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. This is followed by another more advanced precursor, which is called smoldering myeloma. So every individual with myeloma really goes through all these stages, from being healthy to MGUS to smoldering myeloma to multiple myeloma. And the whole goal of the ISTOP MM study is to diagnose the individual at the MGUS phase to be able to treat them at the smoldering myeloma phase and prevent them from ever developing myeloma. This is the largest uh, nationwide clinical trial of any cancer precursor ever performed in the world. To be able to get 54% of a whole nation to uh, give informed consent to a clinical trial is totally unique and has never happened before. We have screened more than 75,000 samples and uh, screened them for the precursor and it turns out that almost 5% uh, of the Icelandic population has the precursor MGUS. So what we then do is we randomize these individuals to three different arms and that really will give us the clear answer of if screening for MGUS is beneficial or not. Since we are here in Iceland, we are in a unique position to collaborate with the Decode Genetics. This is a company that has performed whole genome sequencing all pretty much the whole Icelandic population. So this has already been performed and then we add information on these individuals with the precursor MGUS that gives on, us a unique opportunity to evaluate risk factors for MGUS and the role of uh, germline genetics or hereditary, if you will, on uh, MGUS, both the risk of getting it and also the course of the disease. MGUS and myeloma in Iceland is just like MGUS and myeloma everywhere else. The, the, what is unique about the trial and the ISLAP MM study is we can do so much more with the material. So we can follow them, we cross link this, this to various registries, we have the genetic information, we have the, uh, the prescription registry, every malignancy, this is all centrally registered in the Icelandic healthcare. So we pre have pretty much 100% coverage of all diseases, medications and so on. So this is why the study cannot be done probably in any other country, while the results and the findings are, are totally uh, generalizable to other populations. The impact we hope to make on people's life is really to tell people if screening for myeloma and its precursor is beneficial. We need to convince and show that it is better to be screened, informed about it, followed and then treated uh, uh, early instead of being not screened, which is, which is the current uh, standard of care in the whole world. We have seen in clinical studies performed on other cancers like breast cancer, like cervical cancer and other cancers. They did similar studies like this before and uh, pro proved that you should screen for breast cancer, cervical cancer and other cancers. This has not been done in MGUS or myeloma. So this is what we're doing in, in, re, in real life. We are evaluating if we should screen for MCUS or not. Our early findings show that we really are changing the face of myeloma by early detection and early intervention. We see in our studies that uh, uh, the clinical symptoms and signs of people diagnosed with myeloma that have not been screened, they have more kidney disease, they have more bone lesions, more fractures, and they are diagnosed 
earlier than people that just show up with full blood malignancy. So we already have shown that we have changed people's lives. These are the individuals that we have detected and treated early with smoldering myeloma. What we hope to do and pr to prove is really to take this over uh, to other countries and show that this can be done. You can detect them, it's easy to screen and it's easy to treat early. So why should this uh, study be funded? It's uh, tremendously important since we have reached the stage in myeloma research that we know early intervention is beneficial. We know that. We know it prolongs progression to myeloma and we know it prolongs overall survival. However, less than 5% of myeloma patients are ever diagnosed at the smoldering or precursor state. So in real life we can never treat them early, most individuals. So this is why a study like this is desperately needed. We need to know if we detect everyone with MGUS, follow them over time and intervene early, then we can prevent them from getting myeloma with all, it, all its uh, terrible complications.